What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Alpha Girl Confidence Podcast. This is episode 248, and I'm your host, Shay Haddo. So I'm really excited for today's episode, uh, something that I hold really important, something that, you know, if I was to give you, whether you're middle school, high school, college athlete, kind of one big piece of advice, this would be definitely like top five things. And that is to be different, be you, to be okay with being different and to not follow the crowd, not follow the trends. And it's especially so easy these days to follow trends, which is why I wanted to bring this episode up today. And also I've been doing some reflecting, right? So we're we're at the end of the year. We got Christmas coming up next week. So uh, Merry Christmas. I hope you and your family uh, enjoy it, celebrate it, um, however you guys like to celebrate. So excited for that. Um, but yeah, as I was reflecting on my year this year, I've like come to this really big realization that I'm really weird and I'm really different. And I love that about myself. Like I've always kind of been weird and different. Like as a kid, I knew I was different. I didn't always fit in. Um, but I didn't really understand it until recently, or at least I wasn't like super aware of it as I am now. And so not only am I different in how I dress, who I love, my beliefs, like I really learned that a lot over the last couple of years, like my beliefs are a lot different than a lot of people, including the people I'm close to and love. Um, But it's like the subtle things too. It's like when there's a new trend on social media or a new business strategy or just kind of this like common way of thinking or, you know, hot item on the market. Like I, I tend to go opposite of that, um, and and I and I do think that that's something that I want to impart on you. It doesn't mean you always have to go opposite, um, but it's just something interesting to look at. And at the end of this episode, uh, you know, I'll share some questions with you that you can use to reflect when you're trying to decide. Like, do I go my own way? Do I go with the trend? So make sure you listen through. Um, but yeah, it's like I'm not trying to do the opposite on purpose. It's just that what the crowd is doing has never really felt right to me. And I've really pride, prided myself, pride myself. I don't know what the correct tense of that is. I've really prided myself on, we'll go with prided. I've really prided myself on my ability to like say no. Like even as a kid going to parties, you know, being asked to drink or whatever. It's like I had no problem just saying no and like not really caring if people are like, oh, come on and the peer pressure thing, right? Um, But I just know as a teenager, like, it's so easy to follow the crowd. It's so much easier to follow the crowd. And I did at times too. Like, I'm not saying that I never followed the crowd. Uh, So just know that I understand, especially with social media, how easy it is to follow the crowd, how easy it is to follow the trends instead of kind of doing your own thing, right? But just because your friends are doing it or it's the popular thing on TikTok or Instagram, it doesn't mean that you have to follow along, right? If you want to get caught up in the latest trends because you genuinely want to, then that's great. Like, go for it. But don't do it unconsciously, meaning don't just do it because it's the cool thing to do or the popular thing to do, right? Like, ask yourself, like, do I, do I really want this thing? Do I really want to do this thing? Do I really believe this or am I just doing it so that I fit in and so that I feel like I belong with other people so that I feel like, you know, other people are going to think I'm cool or whatever that whatever that is. Right. So when you ask yourself those questions, you start thinking for yourself, which I think is like an incredibly like unlearned, not unlearned, but a skill that we didn't don't learn in school right? It's like, can we learn to learn for ourselves rather than, or sorry, learn to think for ourselves rather than learning to think um, for other people and like think what other people think, right? So going that down that path can be a dangerous thing when you just do what everyone else is doing or when you think ever, think the way everyone else is feeling um, and, or sorry, think the other way people are thinking. Um, but doing the opposite isn't rainbows and butterflies either. Like, Doing the easy thing is to follow the crowd, doing the opposite and maybe the right thing, but it's not always easy. Like it has its challenges too, right? And like thinking back, like one of the times that I felt the most alone is when I had different views and beliefs than all of my friends, all of my family, like during 2020, you know what I mean? But even though I felt like I was the black sheep and I've always kind of thought of myself as the black sheep, but during that time, especially like there was this unwavering strength and trust in myself that I was doing the right thing for me. And that and that 
trust and confidence that I had myself like that, that takes time. It takes, it takes, um, effort and it takes intentional practice and doing things differently and trusting that that was the right decision for you. Right. So just know that, yes, you may be judged for going against the grain, uh, but at least you're being true to yourself, right? I've done both and I can tell you that I'd rather be true to myself than liked any single day of the week. Like it takes more courage to be yourself than it does to follow along with the crowd, right? And another kind of thing that we actually talked about last week is uh, doing the, what, what is it? Courage is choosing, um, doing the right thing over what's easy, right? And so it's kind of similar, right? Um, just thinking about what's the right thing for me, not what's the easy thing for me when you're trying to decide which path do you take? Do you say yes? Do you say no? Do you follow the trend? Do you not follow the trend, right? So even though going against the grain does have its challenges, it also has its rewards, right? So like by being true to yourself, number one, you're going to build trust with yourself like I just talked about. You're going to have more confidence to be fully you, right? Like if you're always hiding in a box and just doing what everyone else is doing, you're never going to build confidence to be fully you because you've never had that experience. You've never gotten out of that box, out of that comfort zone, right? Also, you're going to attract people that love you for you instead of what you do, instead of who you're trying to be, which is absolutely huge when building relationships as a teenager. And then on the opposite side of that is you're going to repel people that are fake and repel people that don't really care for you, which is really important. It's not always easy, but it's like, we don't always need everyone to like us. Like sometimes it's better to attract the right people and repel the wrong people. You know what I mean? And then kind of the last thing, or there's probably, there's probably like 30 more things we can talk about the benefits of you know, uh, thinking your own way and being true to yourself. But the last thing is like, you're going to have a lot more peace. You're going to have a feel a lot more freedom. You're going to, it's a lot easier to be you at the end of the day than it is to try to be somebody else. Right. And as cliche as it is, there's only one you out of 8 billion. I think it's 8 billion people on this earth. So don't spend your time on this earth trying to be like anyone else but yourself. I've tried that before and I promise you it is not fun. All right. So let's get, I want to go through like just a couple questions, really simple questions that I want you to reflect on right now, but also as you're coming up with these decisions and you're faced with these decisions, um, I want you to just ask yourself, reflect on these, right? So number one, does going with the crowd feel right. So let's say that your friends invite you out to this party and you don't really want to go, but it's like everyone's going to be there and you don't want people to think that you're lame, whatever, right? Does going with the crowd feel right? Yes or no? No? Then don't go. Is it authentic to you to do that thing, to buy that thing, to act that way, to dress that way? Is it authentic to you? Yes or no? Okay. So that's like two questions in one, but number one, Does going with the crowd feel right? And if so, is it authentic to you? Not who you are trying to be, but authentic to you for who you really are. All right. And number two, if you do decide to follow the crowd and go on with the trends and, you know, whatever it is, why? Ask yourself, why? Is it because you really want to or is it because it's the easy choice and the thing that everyone else is doing? Right. So if you can answer like, okay, um, uh, I really want this, then go with the crowd, follow, like do the thing. But if you're choosing that thing just because it's easy or just because everyone else is doing it, stop, turn around and go the other way. I saw this. I wish I could find it. I can't find it. Um, but it was on Twitter a long time ago and I'm t- going to totally butcher this. I'm going to try to remember best as I can. But it was just this quote, and I'm completely paraphrasing, but like, look at what everyone else is doing and then do the opposite. (laughs) You know, and in our world right now, like, that's so true. And and it's this natural human instinct to, um, you know, to belong and to connect with people. But you don't have to let other people think for you or you don't have to unconsciously make decisions and follow trends to belong. Like the more you're authentically you, the more you think for yourself, the more you stand up for who you are, uh, what you love, what you believe, like the more you will attract those people like we talked about, they really love you for you. All right. So I hope this episode 
was helpful for you. I know it may seem a little bit rambly. <laughs> I usually have like these like these points and stuff, um, but I hope it was helpful for you. I hope it kind of struck a chord with you. Um, and just remember at the end of the day, uh, it only matters what you think of you. So if you feel like making a decision to not go with the crowd, people are gonna think something differently of you. That's okay, as long as you trust yourself and as long as you are doing what's right for you at the end of the day, that's all that matters. So again, hope it's helpful. If it is, share it with a friend. And again, I know we got Christmas coming up on, I think Monday, so it's Wednesday, the day this comes out. So Christmas is coming up, so happy holidays to you and your family. Um, I hope you enjoy, stay safe, and I will see you next week. Take care. <laughs>